Hey everybody, welcome back to the Room of Requirement in Hogwarts Legacy, where our young witch Petunia Pennyless is learning about conjuration and alteration magic. Uh, we have uh, an objective here to speak to Deke, the house elf, about the room, learn a little bit more, so let's take care of that. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, let's see. Yep. Mm, I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. There we go, that's nice. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely Okay. Gold Herbology Trophy Dressing Screens. Okay. Well, I think we're sort of done here, unless... Uh... I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Oh, okay, so we of can course. do that again. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Okay. So, since we've done a bit of decoration here... Uh, so this opened up into something else, or... No, over there. We should at least see what this other set of rooms is. Hmm. Okay. Uh, just a little bit more. Let's take a look at our quests here. We've got quite a bit going on right now. Uh, so, Professor Garlic wants me to field test a venomous tentacula and a mandrake. Should I need any cedar plants, I can visit Dogweed and Deathcap. Okay. And then for this one, we need some more potions. So we have to head back to Hogsmeade at some point to pick up some some supplies. Uh, to Dalian Keys, flight test. We need to purchase a broom as well. Uh, we've got an opportunity to make some gold here from the potions master. And then we said we would go and talk about the map chamber with Professor Fig. So let's get this going. Uh, and then he is where? The Charms Classroom, the Astronomy Tower. Where exactly is Fig? There we go. Okay. Let's see what he has to say about what we've discovered. Now, again, there is this uh, concept uh, on the minimap of a... Revelia. A chest of some sort, but I guess it must be below us. Well, whatever. Let's go talk to him and advance the story. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. 
wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes, I thought it was odd too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. And that's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Okay. Oh, we've, we've come all the way back to the map chamber. Okay. Real quick, I do... I am getting a little tired of this hat. So let's check our gear settings here. So handwear... What do we have? 28, 25... 33, trait slot level 1. Okay, so this is our best one. That's fine. And then if we change appearance, what do we have? We've got... Legendary gloves... Oh, those are interesting. I do like the red gloves quite a bit. Uh, so I think we'll stick with these. And then for our overall outfit, uh, let's see. We've only got the one, but let's see about the appearance here. I like that. No, I'm not uh, an elf. No, not that. Not that. That's not bad. Oh, that's that's quite nice, actually. That goes with the gloves as well. Let's keep that. And then let's look at our cape. Uh, wait a minute. We're wearing the 33. Okay, so that's the best one. And was there an upgrade here or... No, there's just the one. All right, so in terms of appearance now... Right, we've got a black cloak... No to that. That's too on the nose. That's quite nice. Although I, I do want something that shows our red outfit. That's cool, but the wrong color, I think. What else have we got? That's not bad. I quite like that, actually. What is that? The embossed tailcoat? And then there's this one, which I kind of like the the design, but it's it's the wrong color. So yeah, I think we'll go with this one. I like that. Okay. And then neckwear. We're wearing the best one. All right. So green doesn't fit anymore. Let's see what else we've got. We do have the dark art scarf. That's quite nice. The silver scarf. That's kind of the wrong red there. I think we'll go with the dark arts here, like that. Uh, and then face wear, we picked something else up. So what are we wearing? We're wearing 21. This is 26. That's locked. That's 27. So this one has the trait slot, but since we don't have that yet, I guess we'll equip the better ones. Ooh. Solar protection spectacles. Those I might actually wear. And then for headwear... Oh, this one has a trait on it. Disarming. Increased damage with Expelliarmus. 27 versus 26? Yeah, let's equip this instead. And then let's change the appearance on this. I do quite like having her bald, but I want to take a quick look at some of these other hats and see what's available. No, no. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, but no. That's kind of a cool look. A sleek sorcerer hat. But no, I think we'll go with, uh, we'll go, we'll go bald for now. So this is our new outfit for the next while. There we go. That's taken care of. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To 
think it was beneath us all this time. See, Fig got his skin condition all cleared up. That's good. <laughs> Sunglasses make her look like Morpheus a little bit. to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. Well, they, they're failing miserably at that so far. ability is both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look?
I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. Don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Okay, well. If the trial is north of Hogsmeade and we need to go to Hogsmeade, then I think I know where we're going next. Let's start by going to the potion shop. Uh, we have a side quest available and we need to go there anyway. Uh, let's see, how do I... Let's travel to the flu flames. There we go, right there. Does it get any more cozy than freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Okay, our quest log's really exploding here stuff, so we're gonna have to kind of prioritize what we want. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this side quest for money and then buy all the stuff that we need. So, uh, the quest here is a demanding delivery. Let's track that quest. What else do we have in here? What's what are what are the, what is this? Flight test. Oh, to purchase the broom, right? And then this one is uh, something about butterflies for conjuration spellcraft. We're not going to do that one. But let's go see about this delivery. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've For no money? Idea Absolutely. how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay, now, since we're here, uh, and I do see Revelia. a field guide. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where Proprietor Perry Pippin sells, Proprietor Perry Pippin, sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Okay. We do need to buy some stuff from him as well. What can I do for you today? So in terms of recipes, we need the invisibility. A wise decision. And we need Thunderbrew. And then, I don't know if we need any of this. Uh, mongrel fur is part of the Adurus potion. Troll bogies. Thick mucus gathered from trolls. The mucus is used as a thickener. Okay, so we need this for the invisibility potion. A wise decision. Thank you. Uh, stench of the dead. Essence gathered from inferi. Gradient for thunder brew. We need that. We have spider fangs. We have leech juice, we have leaping toadstools. Do we have these? I'm pretty sure we do. Yes, I'm pretty sure we do. Lacewing flies, I think we used up the last we had. Pork lump juice, we have plenty. We have some dug bog tongues. What are these used for? Not sure. The only thing I think we need here is lace wings. Oh, wise Let's purchase decision. one of those. Thank and then you. we could, just to be safe, we could go ahead and 
by the Thunder Brew. Now we have to use this. Oh, wow, that's expensive. Never mind. We have to use that on enemies, so we're going to brew that ourselves. Thunder Brew, Thunder Brew. So it was 100, and we probably can brew one from one of those, as opposed to spending 1,000 for... Yeah, that seems outrageous. Okay. We'll brew it ourselves. And just like that, we're kind of down on our, our funds again. again. Well, for now. we'll have to brew those before we can actually do anything with it. Now, uh, since we're low on funds and we haven't finished this delivery yet, let's go... Let's get a... Uh, let's make sure we get a broom here, because I'd like to fly around instead of walking everywhere if we can. Uh, flight test. Set a waypoint for the shop. There we go. Okay. We do have some gear we can we can hawk to get a little bit more money. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yeah, I don't Got really care about your supply chain available. problems. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay. Yeah, I don't think she cares about that. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Okay, let's uh, let's get a Sounds broom. Quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Okay. Uh, oh, we can sell this junk to him. Okay, hold on. I don't actually know what we want to sell here. We can't sell these because we want to equip them at some point. Uh, we can sell this. Nice doing business with you. That's an upgrade. This has a trait slot level compared to what we're wearing, which I think has none. But we'll find more stuff as we go. We should just sell everything, really. We're actually wearing these, right? And then this is some sort of upgrade, so we won't we won't do that. All right, uh, Ember Dash, the perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. A Hogwarts house broom, a broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. A moon trimmer broom, finely crafted from ash. This broom is built for stability. A wind wisp. Stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. And the U-Weaver, a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. You can that preview the broom. The highest quality. Interesting. Oh, I kind of like that. That item is of the highest quality. So it's between the U-Weaver, which you mentioned as being associated with dark magic, and this thing, which has like a cool... Yeah. Are they all the same? They're all the same. All right, we're going with the Ember Dash. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Okay, not not as expensive as I feared. By, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, 
I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me united. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. All right. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. There it is. That's the what we wanted to hear. This should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay. Once you beat Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay. Run by the amiable Albie Weeks, this shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. There's some stuff we can steal. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Some more upgrades to our gear. Man, it just it's a never-ending torrent of gear here. Uh, so face wear has gone from the glasses to the silver four eye. These are 34. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those. Let's uh <laughs> I forgot. I forgot we had this. So ridiculous. Uh, the sunglasses we were wearing were nice. Yeah, let's keep those. And what else do we have that's new? A new outfit? Okay, so is it an upgrade from 30 to 34? It is, but I quite like... Oh, you know what? That's not bad. But I do prefer the other appearance, so we'll go back to that for now. It's the red one, right? Was it this one? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, the, wait a minute. The other thing we have is we have, like, uh, broom handles, right? One handles broom. Broom upgrades. Okay, so we don't have anything here yet. Now, how do I pull out the broom and fly it? Can I only do that... Can I only do that at the Quidditch pitch, or can I, like, can I get my broom out here? Uh, no, nothing here. Hmm. I guess... Right, that's that. Revelio. What just revealed itself? What are these? Oh, locks. Okay. Well, uh, I, guess it, I guess we can't quite fly it around town. That kind of stinks. Maybe when we get out of town, we'll find out something. Uh, the other thing we need to do... Uh, is pick up a, ven a venomous tentacula and a mandrake seed. Uh, so, hot balloons over Hogsmeade Station. What is this? Madam Kagawa has conjured a number of balloons around the Hogsmeade Station in the Quidditch pitch. She wants me to use my broom and reach to reach and pop them. Okay. And then we need seeds. We have these things. We need to use the Thunder Brew Potion against enemies. We could probably go to the forest for that. We have the invisibility potion, Dedalian keys, the flight test. We have the delivery, right? We sh we should do that. But let's get the uh, let's get the seeds first, and then go on our um, delivery to get some more gold. And we could do this actually, because this is around Hogsmeade, so we'll do this first. But we do need to go to where do we get the seeds from? The Neep? Yes. Okay. So, uh, let's get the seeds. Oh, hold on. We're going the wrong way. Now, I wonder. Maybe there is a way to bring the broom out here, and I just don't know it. Settings, controls, aim, open tool wheel. That didn't work. Rebellio spell menu heal, field guide map, spell set, Protego block, dodge roll, perform jump. 
Yeah, it must be that you can only use the uh, the broom at like certain specified areas, I guess. Either that or it'll reveal it to us uh, eventually. It's just sitting out Hello? in the dark, huh? Be with you in a bit. Okay, so we need... Oh, let's see. We need... Uh... Oh, I guess we can't... Huh, interesting. I thought we could purchase... I thought we could purchase the mandrake stuff here. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Um, are we are we not wearing our best hat at the moment? Oh, there's the there's the one hat with a um no with a thing on it. Right, this has the, the, the trait, okay. So I don't quite understand how we get the, um, the mandrake and the, if we're not gonna grow them ourselves, acquire and use a venomous tentacula, acquire and use mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Oh, dogweed and death cap, not the, not the neep. Okay, it's a different shop that has those things. Dogweed and death cap, where is that? Root and peck. Dogweed and death cap. All right, man, that is a long run, but I don't see any other choice. Let's get let's get moving. Okay, so we haven't met this proprietor yet. Apparently, he sells more the more dangerous uh, flora. Looks like maybe we go up this uh, this set of stairs here. Yes. Okay. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Uh, are you saying, yeah, someone died here? Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Okay, so... Well, Say we show you some of what's available. Seed packets. Here's the tentacular seed. Man, that's expensive. So the seed packet unlocks the ability to grow venomous tentacula in large pots. So I don't know that we have a large pot. Add it to plants to increase their yield. Or we could just buy one. Uh, the mandrake seed is 800 versus 500 for one. We know. I know we have the small pot. Let's get the seed for the mandrake. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. And huh, shoots acid at nearby enemies. Purchase at Dogweed and, and Death Cat must be grown in large pots. Since we're not gonna have a large pot, and since I'm not like a big item user, I don't think, we'll just we'll just get one of these for the quest. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. Alright. I can tell you'll mm. go far. Rebellion. The dogweed and deathcap tree. This large tree with winding branches supports the shop deathweed and de deadcap or whatever. Okay. So there's another one of these little guys here. Uh, Such a wee bairn gain a thrash into a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. There's a nice 500 gold. Uh... 
Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, there's one of these things over here, but um, I have no idea where the butterfly would be. So, Hogsmeade, here I come. That is a long way away to do Hogsmeade Station and Quidditch Pitch Balloons. Let's take a look at the map and see if we can't get closer. So, Hogsmeade Station, where's that? Is that this? No, that's Follow the Butterflies. Where is it taking us? Well down outside of the, the town, it looks like. Hold on. So that's Hogsmeade Station, I suppose? And then there's another one at the Quidditch pitch up there. Oh, no, that's something else. So this is quite a long ways away. I guess that must be Hogsmeade Station. So can we get... We can get a little bit closer, I imagine. Yeah, we can get at least down to here. And let's go pop some balloons. Okay, we got halfway by fast travel. That's something. What is this? This topiary is alive. Revelia. What just jingle jangled? Ooh, we've got a chest here. You have entered an area that allows flight. Press LB, then tap B to equip the broom on your tool wheel. Got it. Okay. Love that. Uh, okay, so... Tap B. That does not appear to be working as, as uh, advertised. Oh, what is this? Pavelio. Chocolate frogs. Likely left behind by a Hogwarts student visiting Hogsmeade, these enchanted confections hop around like real frogs, and each comes with a collectible card featuring a famous witch or wizard. Hmm. That's a... Oh, I accidentally threw a chomping cabbage. I wish I could pick it back up. No, I can't. All right. Something strange happened there. It stopped me from using my broom. Yeah, it's just not... Uh, it's not letting me... It's not letting me use it. Maybe down here? Um, okay, well, this is frustrating. What, how do I use my broom then? It said press LB or tap LB? No, tapping LB throws a cabbage. I mean, I, I bought... Oh, I keep, I keep throwing cabbages by mistake. I bought the... I, I have a wand. I bought one. Do I have to equip it? Gear. Broom. That's equipped. I When I hold LB, I see it there over on the right. Right? It seems like there's a mount and some other kind of mount. Uh, maybe I have to be standing specifically in that area to launch the broom? I kind of said it when I was heading up the stairs there. It said you have entered an area that allows flight. Yeah, it said it right when I climbed up these stairs, right when I was sort of here. Nothing doing. Huh. Well, I guess we'll get a little bit closer to the the balloon trial and see if see if that changes it. Uh. 
Oh, some lacewing flies. Oh, I wish I'd collected those instead of buying these. Uh... Nope. That is a Merlin trial indicator, though. Oh, here we go. Could it be a Merlin trial? Oh, now I can use my broom. All right, well, let's do this Merlin trial first. Let's see what this one is. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, there must be another one. Confringo. There's four. We're still not done, and my controller batteries are low. Ah, there's five, six, uh, and seven, if I can aim for it. There's seven. There's got to be more. Where would it be? Confringo. That's nine. Merlin himself would be proud. There we go. Okay. Okay, now. There we go. There's some flight. And we're supposed to pop balloons, yes? Do we just fly through them? That'll do. There's a third one. We're looking for some more. Are they down low or let's see. There should be around this Hogsmeade station. Let's see if we can't suss them out real quick. Where would they be? There's another one. Okay, there's four. There's one hidden one left hidden away somewhere. Oh, there's a merchant there. That's interesting. We'll check that out in a second. We gotta find this last balloon. I do like the broom. It's quite fun. Would it be hidden kind of down over a cliff edge or That's interesting, whatever that is. Oh, wait, did we just fly past it? There it is. Okay. Now we saw something interesting over here. We saw a merchant. Yes, let's see what this guy's about. Oh, and another Merlin trial. Where did the merchant go? He was over here. Greetings. Leopold Babcock. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? Let's take a look. See if there's something you need. Okay, so he's got ingredients of moonstone, malice sweet leaves for more Merlin trials. That's nice. Dittany leaves, some ch some cabbages, a durus, mandrake, maxima, wiganweld. Okay, nothing special, uh, and we could sell to him if we wanted to. That's been a pleasure. Okay, let's check the Merlin trial, and then we have to deliver. We we do have to go back to Hogwarts to the Quidditch pitch to finish I know this a Merlin quest. Trial when I see one. But we also have to deliver those invisibility potions. Unless we just keep them for ourselves? I'm not sure if we can. Let's see what this is. 
Nothing immediately obvious. Oh. Confringo. Okay, there's one. There's two. I don't see the third one at the moment. Perhaps we need to use the broom? That's reset. Where would the third one be? Levioso. So there's one. Is there another one high up or? I wouldn't necessarily think so, but it could be. What's that over there? You can't enter while mounted, okay. Where would the third one be for this Merlin trial? So that one's kind of, it's kind of lit up. You can kind of see the orange glow, but I don't know if that's because of what I did or... That one's lit. I see two. I do not see the third. I think there were three last time. No, I swear I won't be wasting your time. Dark wizard? What? Come on, then. What you got? It's Why a... is it moving? What? I bet... Your bag is wriggling. What you got in there? Not rat tire. No, it's a Nifler! Stole <laughs> from me, he did. <laughs> oh, by a Nifler. I... That's what I'm saying. He, he's a natural. Worth his weight in galleons. Go on, then. Show him to me. <laughs> Uh, uh, I if must. You're wasting my time. Ow! No, I would you never waste me, your time. Little rat you scratch me. Come on, you oh, you can't even keep oh, come on. Where are you? Are these guys not going to attack me? Dead. Clear me. Dead. Get out of here. He's not a rat. Amateur. <laughs> okay. Let me answer. Um, where? Ex I don't know. I can't. I can't see. A third one. It shouldn't be that hard to find, right? It shouldn't be that far away from the trial itself, unless it's meant to test you if you have a broom and the ability to use it, but then we were blocked from going any higher as well. I don't feel like it should be that far away from it. I mean, that's the second one. Oh, there it is. There's the third. Gosh, it was right around the corner. Okay, uh, let's... One, two, and three. It's so tricky after all, Merlin. There we go. Okay. Okay. One last thing to do. We don't actually have to go claim this, right? It's just auto claimed. One last thing to do this episode, and that is to deliver these potions, and then we will see what else to do. Uh, demanding delivery. Actually, you know what? Uh, we're running a little bit long here, and this might turn into a longer quest reward, you know, uh, or a longer quest chain where we go and try to deliver it, and then she's like, oh, that's not good enough. You have to do all this other busy work for me. So I'm going to call it here, guys, and when we come back, we'll finish the uh, numerous assignments we're working on and try to advance the story by... Um, by what are what are we doing to advance the story? Uh, doing the first trial, right? Right. Okay. So anyway, look forward to that. And uh, until then, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.